This is an ogre and null side by side comparison. Let's take a look. Four minute video coming up. Oh, Yo. Wow. Wow, so sick. So many patches and details on the ogres. Scars. We're not hairless anymore. Oh, it shows how they die as well. They kind of have this running motion. Man, I love the ogre mage look. They're bigger, they're broader, even stronger. Less, uh, less of a belly and broader shoulders. Sorry, that's my dog. <laughs> He's got this uh, sash as well. This is an ogre mauler, uh, the level five ogre creep. Kind of a cool mace flail combination weapon instead of just a wooden club with spikes that have no dimension. Really nice. I wonder why they chose to go with the fully red skeleton. Oh, this must be the Ogre Lord, level 7. Shockwave, Command Aura. Big item. This one looks extremely elaborate. I noticed they transitioned his uh, belly shield to something more grisly and well, less circular, I suppose. A ridiculously big weapon. <laughs> Do you see that weapon? Null units, null poacher. <laughs> if you look at how the classic Null actually aimed his crossbow from his loin area instead of his shoulders. Unusual. Null assassin. This is like the same Null roughly, but purple. Completely different look in the new one. Nice poison effect. Still very similar looking, but a little bit different. Like you can still see it's poison, but it just, it's a bit more detailed. No brute. I wonder why it's so um, transparent on the left. It looks almost like the Spirit Walker's etherealness. Too transparent, I think. It's like he's a ha half a ghost. Like they've got the purple look, but it doesn't look like they're present enough yet. It may not be the final look. For the rest of us, fine. They took that green uh, color on his head and back and actually gave it a purpose. Because it's not really clear what it is on the original Null. Nice mace. Oh wow, look at that. It's dragging on the floor as he walks. That's cool. Gorgeous. Nice. We go to the next one, which is uh, Murloc side by side comparison. It's a five minute video. I don't know if we need to see that many Murlocs, but let's take a look. The Murloc Tide Runner. So I think the, what they said about the Murloc in Warcraft 3 Classic is that it was just the ghoul model, the ghoul underlying model, and they reskinned it to a Murloc. Whereas in, uh, in 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 Reforge they will have their own separate special bodies, so they yeah they, they're not just like necessarily crouched in the exact same way as a ghoul. The thing is though, because 
Reforged and Classic are crossplay. Anyone can play against anyone, whether you have one game or the other. It's the same game. They still need to observe the same attack timings, movement timings. Uh, they need to have the same... Uh, so they can't deviate too much. But it looks so much better. These Murlocs look incredible. You could have a whole Murloc custom map and they'll look a lot different. That uh, shield he's using looks like a stone or something. It's like a, a scratched stone. I wouldn't be surprised if one Murloc uses like a seashell, uh, well, a seashell shield. And as I say that, the one on the right has a seashell shield. The one on the left, no shield. Don't remember these units. Murloc Flesh Eater. Wow, that's ghastly. These are the level 3 creeps, I think, are, that are on Northern Isles. The level 3 creep that cannibalizes. What's he hitting with? Kind of like a, a shark tooth uh, stabbing weapon or something. Stabbing, slashing. Maybe it's a whale tooth. Or who knows what kind of creature from the Warcraft universe. These remind me of creatures that would not look bad in uh, in Diablo 3. They would be well placed in Diablo 3. Nice monsters. Murgle Cliff Runner. So cute. Very aerodynamic, a bit slimy. You see the light effects on the Murloc on the left? Murgle, Bloodgill. Man, there were so many different Murlocs, huh? Oh, this is one that can do healing. I remember I played a two-on-two -two map. You were on the high ground. It was f like a full water map. The map was really fun. I forgot what it's called, but I think you had a lot of Murlocs on that map everywhere. Murlocs and maybe turtles or something. Oh, no, Hydras! Yeah, there were Hydras. Maybe someone can let me know in the YouTube comment section what the uh, what that map was called. You're spawning in the corners and there's Murlocs and Hydras. It was part of the 2v2 map pool in uh, patch 128. Murgle Snare Caster. So this one I think does slow, maybe abolish magic as well. Nice. Blizzard loves pauldrons, so he has a tiny little pauldron. It protects just his left shoulder. Murgle Marauder. Now, these are surprisingly strong. I always found it uh, deceiving how tanky these guys were. And on that note, I actually think the increased model size and the evident shielding that the one on the left has it's a bit more visible. I think it'll drive home the point that it's tough to take down, that its health pool is bigger than you may think. Murgle Shadowcaster, he's got a really cool uh, helmet, face mask thing. And each one a different weapon. Like the one on the right has like a lollipop. <laughs> so sick, he's hitting him with a lollipop. On the left, this intricate seashell on top of a stick thing. Awesome. Nice. We have one more and it's a neutral undead unit. Also a five minute video. Let's take a look. Also on Lace TV YouTube channel. There's a zombie. Man, I love it. Skeleton Archer. Oh, gorgeous.
fire effects don't seem 100% done yet. Oh, Skeletor Orc. He's got that broad ribcage. Got really big, uh, how do you call them? Bracers. Huge hammer. Necromantic magic, pretty strong, huh? Skeletal Orc Grunt, level 5 creep, I believe. Also quite quite strong. Quite armored. I guess part of the reason that Blizzard really likes to do one pauldron is that you can still roughly see what kind of body you're looking at on the one side. But you can also see that it is armored. You can they can also put in like a little bit of creative artistry. And it's only the most armored units that get a full set. Like this one. Two pauldrons. With uh, a metal belt as well. The ghost. Seen this one once before. Uh, now side by side. Gorgeous. Some kind of blue purplish shade on the right. On the left. A real distinct shape. It's still iconic to me, man. The Warcraft classic look. Like, I'll never get bored of it. <laughs> How long have I been playing? I've known about this game for 17 years. Played it for, what, 13? I'll, ne I'll always like it, but I'm very excited to try the new graphics. They look gorgeous. We're still a little zoomed in, so it's still slightly... Oh, Fire Revenant. Nice. Getting some RPG vibes with how intricate this baddie looks. Very dynamic movement, huh? In how they swipe. On the right, they're kind of standing there like stick man. Well, floating, excuse me. Lightning Revenant. Look at this sword. Embodies the element that he is. On the right, reminds me of Battle Chess. <laughs> All the revenants look roughly the same. They made each so distinct in Reforged, man. So gorgeous. The Death Revenant with the scythe, the runes. A very big attack swing. He moves very far away from his... I, I wonder if I sh should be a little worried about that. He moves so far away from his selection circle. Like, people still need to be able to target him, right? And I think targeting does use their body position. So that could be confusing when he moves that fast. Time will tell, I guess. What was this one? Ice Revenant, isn't it? If, I, if I'm looking at how he looks like. Yeah, Frost Revenant. Nice. Oh, here's the Ice Revenant. This one might be the level 8. Looks like uh, Vampiric Aura. Or is it? Revenant of the Tides. There again, those uh, seashells. Oh man, they put so much work into all these units that are not part of the multiplayer, which is what I mostly play. So much hidden work, actually, when you when they started undertaking the uh, Reforged project. Revenant of the Seas. Revenant of the Deaths. See, th these units have pretty big contrast. Even uh, even on the left, the reforged assets. Some of the multiplayer units could do with a little bit more still. Of course, this is still pre-beta. Deep Lord Crevenant. I guess he means Revenant. There must be thousands of models in Reforged, in Warcraft. Like thousands of different units. 
Man, that was really cool. If you want to check out uh, these videos yourself, go to uh, Lace TV's YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to see more BlizzCon news, more Reforge news, and more Warcraft 3 multiplayer gameplay, you're in the right place. Thank you very much for watching. Please give a subscribe to this channel, follow Grubby, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.